Hello and welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman and our topic for today is Computing Sales Commission for Business Mathematics. After going through this tutorial video, you are expected to number one, discuss the concept of commission, number two is differentiate types of commission, and number three, solve problems involving commission. So commission is an amount of money that an individual receives based on the level of sales he or she obtained. So for our discussion, so there are types of commission. So we have straight commission, graduated commission, salary plus commission, and commission plus override. So for our straight commission, it is a compensation method in which only a percentage of the sales volume but no fixed salary is paid. The rate of commission is constant. And the amount received by a salesperson is a function of his or her performance reflected in sales volume. So let's consider problem number one. So on sells RTW dresses and is paid a straight commission for 35 pesos on each dress that she sells. During December, she sells 850 dresses. So what is the amount of her commission? So let's identify first the given. So output quantity is 850 and the rate per item is 35 pesos and we want to find out commission. So in this type of commission, sometimes we call this one as gross earning based on production. So the gross earning based on production is actually rate per items times, okay, quantity or output quantity. So we have, let's see as the commission, and the rate per item is 35 times 850 as the output quantity. So this is actually 29,750. So therefore, the amount of commission is 29,750 pesos. Let's consider problem number two. So Magdalene, a travel sales agent, receives a commission of 15% based on her total sales. For the month of April, she accumulated a total sales of 485,000. How much is her total commission? So if we will identify the given, so the given are the following. Sales is 485,000 pesos. The commission rate is equal to 15%, which is expressed out of 100. So that is why we have 15%. And we want to find out the commission. Take note that the commission is the product of commission rate times sales. And simply substitute 15% times 485,000. So we can say that the commission or the amount of commission is 72,750 pesos. So let's move on to the second type of commission, which is graduated commission. So here, the rate of commission increases as the sales increases, such that a graduated commission structure might be used by a business in order to provide sales staff on commission with a greater incentive to increase sales volume. So bet sell a special type of lotion. The applicable commission rates are 8% for the sales up to 150000 10% for the next 100,000, and 18% for sales beyond 250,000 pesos. How much will her commission be if her total sales in January is 280,000? So the first thing that we will do is we'll write down the 280,000 pesos. Okay, so we have 280,000 pesos, and we will chunk this one into three parts, such that if we will deduct 280,000 by the first level of sales, which is 150,000 pesos. So we have here 150,000 pesos. Okay. So subtract here 150,000. So we have 130,000 pesos. But take note that the rate for 150,000 is actually 8% based on the problem. So 150,000 times 8% is 
So this is equal to 12,000 pesos. Next. So the next level is, okay, for the next 100,000 pesos. So it means, let's subtract here, 100,000 pesos. So we have only 30,000 pesos left. Okay. So write down here, 100,000 pesos. However, the rate is equal to 10%. So if we will compute the 10% of 100,000, this is equal to 10,000 pesos. Okay. And finally, so the last okay, difference is 30,000 pesos. And the rate here is 18%. So take note. 30,000 times 18%, this is equal to 5,400 pesos. And let's get the total. So the total is 27,400. So therefore, the commission of bet is 27,400. Let's move on to the next problem. Charles is a technician. He receives peace work Wages for soldering a circuit board. Payment is arranged as shown below. Find his gross earning for a period which 250 of his circuit boards pass inspection. So we have here from 0 to 75. So the rate per item is 15 pesos. Well, 76 to 750, or this is the next 75, is 20 pesos per item, while over 150 that is actually 25 pesos per item. Now, if we would like to solve this problem, again, so this is our number of items produced against the rate per item. So, again, we will chunk in 250. So, we're in 250 can be break down for the first 75 okay, units. So, here, I have 250. I'll subtract first 75. So, I have 100. 75. So the first 75, okay, is actually 15 pesos per unit. So the total is equal to 1,125 pesos. Next, so since the next 75 here from 75 or 76 to 150, so that is the next 75. So minus or subtract 75 here. It means the next 75 is actually 20 pesos per item. So the total is 1,500. Well, the last 100, okay, so the last 100 is 25 pesos per item. So this is equal to 2,500. By inspection, if you will add 75 plus 75 plus 100, this is equal to 250. So this is the total number of this work done. So the total gross income <clears throat> is 5,125. Again, so the total gross earnings is 5,125 pesos. The next type of commission is salary plus commission. So an employee may receive a regular salary and a commission on top of it. So depending on the employee's arrangement with the firm, this commission may have to be computed using the graduated commission rates. So let's have our example for number five. So then sell a salesman and receives 8,500 pesos a month. In addition, he received 3% of the month's total sales. If the total sales this month is 800,000 pesos, how much is Denzel's gross income this month? So again, to solve this problem, let's identify first the given. So the given are the following. So the sales is 800,000 pesos. Well, the basic salary is 8,500, the commission rate is 3%, and we want to find out the gross income. Take note that the gross income is equal to basic salary plus commission. Since our basic salary is 8,500 plus 3% of the total sales, which is 800,000 pesos. So, okay, so the gross income is equal to 32,500. So we can say that the gross income is 32,500 pesos. So the next type of commission is commission plus override. 
So it is a commission paid to an individual who supervises a group of sales employees. So for our problem number six, we have Eugene works as a sales supervisor and receives a basic salary of 25,000 per month. He received 25% commission from all sales made plus a 5% commission from all sales made by his sales agent. This month, his total sales is 80,000 pesos, while total sales of his sales agent is 60,000 pesos. What is his gross income? So, let's identify first the given. So, the total sales of Eugene is 80,000 pesos, while his uh, commission rate upon his sales is 25%. While the total agent sales is 60,000 pesos, while his rate on this, okay, uh, I mean commission rate from agents is 5%, the basic salary is 25,000 pesos, and the gross income is we do not know. Now, in order to solve, let's have step number one. So that is we want to find out the commission or Eugene's commission alone from his sales. So that is 25% times 80,000, so that is equal to 20,000 pesos. Step number two is we want to find out the commission, his commission from the sales of his agents. So that is 5% times 60,000, so he will receive 3,000 pesos as commission from the sales of his agents. Step number three, we want to find out the gross income. So the gross income is we'll get the total of 20,000 plus 3,000 plus 25,000. It means that 20,000 represents the commission of Eugene from his sales. This is the commission from his okay, uh, agent sales and this is his basic salary. So the total is equal to 48,000. So therefore, the gross income is 48,000 thousand pesos so that ends our lesson on computing sales commission again this is teacher on Guzman. do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos thank you and have a good day